Welcome back for the live stuff. We've got a big show tonight. <clears throat> the uh, for those of you who weren't watching, uh, we're gonna pick the the grand finale here, the big one. And we even brought in an extra person trying to make this thing because we are having kind of a big split uh, on the grand prize. But I have to be that guy. So we're going to go through, we'll hit those last. We're going to get all that stuff out. And before I go too far and possibly have another beer, uh, I just want to thank all the guys and you know, all the sponsors, guys and gals, and everybody that participated. And and the sponsors in particular, in particular Echo, who gave a ride for every single one, high dollar. I mean, so cool. For those who don't know, I took, when I uh, left St. Croix, I took all my rides to uh, Echo. And Tim and I have been friends for, I don't know, 30 years, but Tim Ray Jeff. And so, in particular that, Whiting Farms, everybody else, Grapplers, Nautilus, High and Dry, Sims, you'll see those as we go, Guideline Glasses. I mean, it, it just really, really cool. We, we brought this up the other night when we did this, but, and they don't have to do this, they, and they did it for us, so I really want to, everybody to support those companies. But <clears throat> moving forward, we're going to do, as we go through that, we'll bring these up as we go. And so we're going to go through all the other stuff first and the very at the end but I want to I just want to mention and I'm going to read them off uh, the winners of every category and so each company as we went through and I and I missed one Renzetti did a, a traveler vice also but as we go through this each time we did this class everybody did most of you know that everybody got a, a prize right that was all donated by our companies and so the first one we had in there, and, 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 and uh, before I go on on that, the, the grand prize, this is for the adult, right? The adults, all the youth group, everybody in the youth group, every winner is going to be put into MFC, Montana Fly Company's uh, catalog, which is an online thing now. They're going to have a bio, going to show their fly. Uh, super cool. I mean, if I was a kid and that happened to me, I don't know what I would have done. Uh, probably drink less. But the, and the adults are all we're going to judge for this overall. There's one fly that's going to win. And then we're going to have a bunch of other stuff in here, guides, choices, and all that kind of stuff. But going forward, and you won't be able to see this, but we'll do it in sequential order as we go when we do it. But Derek Hazzy won the swamp creature right here. Uh, that was in the adult. And I'm going to go through adult, then youth. And then youth was Asa Harvey with right here. I loved this rug. This was one of those things that this is one I might take out and fish because I just think it's, I, I, I think it's going to fish like a champ. In the salt water, <clears throat> where are we? Jason Klaus, he, uh, the mackerel right here. Uh, excuse me. Uh, that, or, that's not right. That is correct. It's a hybrid mm -hmm. game changer. Uh, yeah, I know, but we have it down here. Uh, where'd it go? Here it is. Get out of the way. All right, and then, oh, there was two. And so youth is Jackson Piles. Point me, because I can't see right it. There. Yeah. Right here, Jackson Piles. Uh, mayfly, this gets complicated, so we get them down here. Where do they go? The adult, the mayfly, uh, John, I don't know how you say this, Elkowitz, uh, the Betas Cluster. This is the triple fly. That's so cool. This is such, we talked about this earlier. This is like, you know, it's just, we, we've all tied this fly, but to do it in a cluster and a triple thing was just incredible. It's a delta wing, so it probably wouldn't spin. It's really cool. And then the uh, Jack, uh, Jackson Piles won the, with the Quill Gordon. That was over here, which is epic. Jackson's won a lot of this stuff. He's a pretty spectacular tire. And the Caddis Pupa, uh, Mike Falkenbury won that. This is this one over here. Uh, and then, uh, Harvey, let's see where did I go? Whoops, sorry, I got ahead of myself. You got his pupa, there we go. And then the sculpin, did I miss one right there? No, there it is. The sculpin, uh, where did I go? Where was I? 
Falkenberry. I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, was that the cat? Was that his? Where's the? Oh, I mixed <laughs> him up. I'm sorry. Uh, Jackson Piles over here. I grab. Yeah. I put the youth on a separate one. I'm like, where the hell did it go? And then in the sculpin, we had uh, Jason Klaus again, hybrid game changer. This is the one that I went on and on about, and just was googling and oogling. This one here, and then Anna Harvey won the sculpin with the feather changer over here. So that's all of them with all my screw ups as I go. I uh, have another beer. Okay. And we'll so, have close-ups tomorrow. And yeah, we'll have close-ups on all these things, and so we're going along. But before we do that, we thought we'd just give away some other stuff. So you get out of the way. My, For those of you that weren't listening a few minutes ago, we ran out of the Corona last night. Somebody drank it all. Long-haired people behind me. So Chris thought he would be really clever and he would wash the bottle out so I could put whatever beer we have left because they drank all the other Corona. It all looks but insane. he forgot to maybe rinse the soap out. Nice. So I'm going to I'm gonna have bubbles. bubbly something or other later. So I'm in silver bulleting between now Whole and then. Whole new definition of bubble guts. <laughs> yes, there'll be a fly for that secret. next year. We'll have a category next year for that fly. So, we're going to do some subcategories here before we go on. Uh, and, and, and once again, let me mention the, the grand prize stuff uh, for all these things was Echo did all the rods, Whiting did, MFC did, sec, you know, Whiting and MFC did the second places with the necks and the fly boxes. And third places, we had the guideline glasses, grapplers, we had uh, high and dry. And then... Uh, for the big prize tonight, which whoever wins that is going to get the contract if it's an original fly, and uh, G3 waders, uh, Nautilus XL Max custom. So it's going to be a pretty big deal. And then we're going to give out uh, $100 gift certificates to all the other ones that are just things that we came up with when we were sitting here. And so I'm going to go into the subcategories. It's one of my favorite parts of this thing because it's just fun. Uh, we'll take subcategories next year. I mean, Johnny's idea, or one of you, one of the hippies back there, said that uh, the fly we'd most like to be uh, deserted on a desert island with. Uh, that's not a real thing. That's not a real thing. Okay, <laughs> well, that probably won't be a category next year. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> it would have been this one for sure. I mean, for sure, that's what it's going to be. But uh, most creative packaging is what the first one. Uh, Ian Grew, this thing, this is this has got to be the funniest thing you've ever seen. All right, so it comes in. <clears throat> we have no idea that this is, you know, when you first see it, we think this is real packaging. Like, wow, this guy's like a freak, you know, germaphobe. And so it comes in. It's got all this shit, uh, stuff on it. Excuse me. And it killed the coronavirus, you know. And inside it is his fly. And it's like, so we open it up. And there's this whole thing, and now we're not even sure what the hell we're looking at. And then we see this syringe, and then over here we see this drawing. I mean, this guy's obviously uh, knows what he's doing with all this stuff. So inside, we've got an alcohol pad, band-aids, a mask, all that kind of... I won't tell you what I think about all that. But inside here, we, it took a lot to get into this thing. So inside here, then we realize what we're looking at was uh was this fly Ian's fly and there's the fly inside which was this one right here absolutely the most thought out process it was uh <laughs> stunning 100 bucks <clears throat> gift certificate correct everything's they're all the same right all right so that was our uh most creative packaging uh most inspiring fly this is kind of this isn't a funny category this is a really i mean it's really cool to see the kids in doing this stuff, but this fly right here, this is from Paul Bullock, uh, Bouquet. That's what we, we're trying to say. Bousek. 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 B-O-U-C-E-K. Bousek. Uh, Paul is 85 years old, seventh year with Parkinson's, and he's still sending stuff in. If that doesn't inspire you to do something, get off your ass to work, that should, because... It's really cool. There's a lot of epoxy work, a lot of really neat stuff in here. This one just that, that hit all of us. It's just, I mean, 85 and still rocking. Y'all ought to think about that. So, 
Number three, most frightening package and the latest fly. I'm sorry about that one, Ryan Wilson. But Ryan sent this box and he was, he was I think, 10 days late on the fly. It's too bad because it, it would have been in, that, in the running. And I opened this damn thing and I see, all, I see all this crap, this little fuzzy stuff. And there's this rat in this thing. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I, thought, I thought somebody was dumb enough to put one in there. like a. <laughs> but it's a really great tied fly, right? I didn't see his glass eyes in the beginning. It was a really great fly, but it was late. But I saw all that stuff in there, and, and it happened to me again today. Not that I'm afraid of mice like Johnny. He is, but that's another one. All right, out of the way. All right, <clears throat> best packaging. Uh, that goes to the guy, Mike Falkenberry, who won several categories. Just Where'd we go to it? Huh? Cast no, didn't he have a, he had a one in the top and the other one too. No, it was just in the top. He got top. the guy yeah. fly too. Uh, yeah, yeah, in the just, top. That didn't win it, but he... Yeah, just cast. Yeah, but yeah. he was in the running. Mm -hmm. couple. But <clears throat> this was the one, you'll have to watch the old ones. There's a magnet on the bottom. He had the fly, his caddis pupa, tied to a piece of uh, tippet through the top, but it didn't touch anything. It just hung there. And we could shake this as hard as we could and not make that thing move. And it would go right back in. That is absolutely the best packaging we've ever seen. Funniest concept fly. <clears throat> uh, Larry Bates and the fornicating frog. Uh, this one was, this was pretty hilarious. There's uh, two frogs there if you don't know what that means. And so <laughs> the fornicating fro uh, frog. Uh, most creative tie that did not want to enter the second time, because he won last year, was uh, Ron Redmond's Red Dragon Glider. And this was also one of Jeremy's picks to want to go fish, or Chris's. Who was it? Which no, he's so fun. Both he of you? Yeah. This thing, uh, uh, you know, Ron, this guy's obviously, he, he had the, the, the last year's uh, double dragon deal and dragonfly thing. And this was just absolutely, and if you look at this thing, it just sings, but it also should be in a sci-fi movie. What did he say? It was in, what was Bates? Who was that? I can't remember. You're the English major for God's sakes. Whatever it was, but it was absolutely awesome. super cool. Huh? There's lots of books. Oh, William Blake. I know, but he, William Blake, William he was Blake. talking, that's yeah. what he referenced when he sent us his letter. All right, so last, last three before we get on to this. Uh, this is staff picks. This is what, uh, as we go through these and the flies that, you know, maybe they win, maybe they don't, but we, we pick these things out. The guys don't see them. I put them, you know, sometimes they do something. Else. I put, take them out. I number them. I read the letter and I, I put a, a number on it and put it on this styrofoam. And then we all look at them later and look at, you know, look at everything as they come in. And there's always two, three flies throughout the season when everybody sees it. Oh shit! I want to fish that thing. You know, they want to take it. And so, in the in the staff picks in the dry fly world, where'd they go to right here? Front right in front of me. There it is. Johnny mm -hmm. and Jeremy. Yeah. Almost every all of us said the same thing. And again, and this was not had. And uh, Mike won the caddis, but Mike's green drake was. It didn't win in the Drake section, but it showed up, and it's this fly right here, as the number one fly guide pick that we wanted to, we all wanted to take and go fish, because we just looked at it and said, oh my God, that thing's just fishy. And so, and, 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 it, and in a lot of reality, that's, that's kind of the, one of the highest things you can get here, because everybody here wants to fish it, and therefore next year, we are probably going to do that category it's like a guide pick, a fly that we could actually go and fish. And so that was Mike Falkenberry's. Uh, and then there was Chris's pick. And we all kind of had, we were going through them, but that one kind of uh, really jumped out. And then Chris had one because he said, he just kept going back to this thing over and over and over. And he goes, if I could have one fly, that's the only fly of all of them, I want to go fly. It was uh, Sean West's uh, articulated snake. And it was like, you know, it's, it's, this was a super cool fly. It's got four articulations in it. Well, it's got three articulations, but it's got four pieces to the fly. And that was the one he wanted. That was Sean West. And then my fly, uh, and evidently Jeremy's also, 
my fly that I thought of all the flies of everything in here uh, for the entire season, my pick that I wanted more than anything was Tom Gingrich's uh, <clears throat> possum. I forgot what we called it. It was his topwater fly. It's a topwater fly. It's got poppers in the middle of it. This fly is so unbelievable. It's still sitting here in one piece that I didn't take this fishing. Tom was in the running with several flies, but this fly in particular was, uh, both Jeremy and I said, of all the flies in here, that's the fly that I wanted to go fish. Jeremy said the same thing. This was like, I, I, I want to hunt this fly. I'm a mouse and man. Huh? I'm it's a mouse a, and man. It's a mouse. can help it. He's a mouse and man, and there it is. It's top. This was top water, warm water. Look underneath here, it's popper heads. Tom, uh, Tom is just an extraordinary tire. And, but his concepts are really cool too. And so that's, that's the real kicker. So that's there. So onward we go. So those are all the subcategories. And then we come down to this, the actual winner. So everything aside. I don't think I'll have any more of that soapy beer. I think I'll have one of these. Silver bullet always does it good. Any questions about what's happening yet, ladies and gentlemen? They're all in suspense. What? They're, all in suspense. They're in suspense. Suspense. Yeah, that's you know, if you had a red dragon a glider, you wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> and so, <clears throat> let's go through the grand prize. Uh, whoever wins this is going to get a national contract. You know, to be a contract tire with Montana Fly Company. They're also going to get a. Nautilus XL Max with all the stuff on it. It's got all our logos and stuff on it there. Very cool color. And we're going to get a pair of G3 Sims. Really cool that these guys stepped up and would do that for us. Um, I don't know if I was I out of focus up there when I stood up. Cut Did you see head. my abs? Those, yeah. you know, those are things you guys don't know. Head. Johnny doesn't know about that. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably get asked to do a commercial soon. About, uh, anyway, so the grand prize winner came down to so we can take and again this this was only for the adult and so we'll pop these out of here do we need a drum roll <clears throat> not quite yet i'm going to lose the flies before i get to it <laughs> so <clears throat> we came down to this and thankfully for several people that work for me size doesn't matter in this uh it's just a matter of what fly and it, it could matter could matter it's which fly we thought was, and, and this was uh, pretty much a split. We had a, a dead tie on this. And so we brought in a, my buddy Rich Artuzzi's in here. He brought me the popcorn. I gave him a boat too, but I really, in reality, I, I felt like it has to be me that makes this tiebreaker. And so I haven't told anyone what it's going to be. I oogled over this thing, this game changer. For I love this thing. I still do love this thing. I love that one. There's not a fly in here that I didn't think was epic. I don't think Derek's uh, swamp creature. I don't think, I don't think anybody in the planet could tie. It's flawless. Everything. Essentially, every fly in here is flawless. I, th I love this delta wing. I love this caddis. I, I love everything. Every one of these flies. Uh, and, and but it comes down to somebody's got to win, right? And so, essentially. For me, I just looked at the complexity of the fly, possibly, and we don't, and, and I made sure everybody knew this when we did this, because next year we're going to change that. Because uh, Johnny in particular, he has this stick of, uh, up there, never mind. He has this thing about fishability, and that's not part of this contest this year. It, it truly wasn't. And so, but every one of these flies, we all, it's pretty unique. Every, we thought every one of them had the fishability almost equal to every other one. And so I, I looked at everything and the complexity, fishability. I looked at everything, looked at everybody's votes, and and basically it's probably this is the hardest one for sure because this friggin' A game just keeps going up. Everybody in this thing is just gets better, better, and better. So without further ado, liar, I'm a guy. I can do that. I got nothing to tap. Uh, so. <laughs> Are anybody answers? Is anybody questioning on there? Has anybody got oh, a no, guess? They're, re they're ready to hear it. Right right. I want the to suspense guess. is killing them. Oh, I can imagine. Uh, uh, so, at any rate, 
I looked at everything on here. I looked at every fly. I truly don't think any one of these flies could get better. Anybody, I don't think anyone, they're like on a realm of an absolute incredible tying. But when I looked at, a, a, at one thing in particular, was it totally unique and total original? I decided that, anybody going to say? Mike Falkenberry, that Caddis is my winner. The caddis is absolutely, we looked at this thing. There's so many unique parts about this fly. Uh, I don't think it, it was such a, we had an absolute split. We had a four, a two, two. There's four of us and rich. And, but when I got done with everything, I just looked at this. I looked at that fly, which you're going to have to get the close-ups later on. And I thought the intricacy of this fly, the thought process, the eyes, which if you watched it before, these eyes are the most unique things I've ever seen. They're biots twisted around, and they make hollow eyes. So this year's, which will get the overall, uh, he will get the contract from Montana Fly. He'll also get the reel and the waders. Everybody else is going to get the, all the, the youth's going to be in the catalog too. And so everybody else we're going to have in the grand or in the prizes that we talked about. There's going to be the high and dry, the glasses, the grapplers. Uh, that's it, right? Thanks. So. That's it. And so everybody's all those other subcategories are doing that. And off we go. Anything else? Hang on. Thank you Good much. Job, team. Just Thank you. Oh, oh, even the dogs are still. And a dog is <laughs> from. Oh yeah. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you next year.